The Astartes were created to be the best of the best. They were made to be the Emperor's finest warriors. They were made from the gene stock of their respective Primarchs, with the exception of the Grey Knights, which took their origins straight from the Emperor's blood. So within the creation of the Space Marines, there arose various genetic flaws, which occurred after many generations of the gene seeds being produced. As with other life forms, there are stable gene lines and those that are hypermutative. So there are quite a few Space Marine chapters that had unstable gene seeds that brought about these different curses and flaws into the Astartes of their stock. Some were even brought about by the flaw in their respective Primarchs or incidences that traumatized the entire lineage. Here in this video, we will showcase 12 genetic flaws and curses of different Space Marine chapters, both physical and mental. So let's get to it. Firstly, the Blood Angels, the Red Thirst and the Black Rage. They are the 9th Legion later divided into chapters of a thousand marines each during the second founding and later on. They are infamous for their savage combat style and the genetic flaw that they bear. These marines along with their successor chapters all have two curses, the Red Thirst and the Black Rage. The Red Thirst firstly is a genetic flaw that makes them into sort of vampires and is triggered by the scent of blood or intense anger or a combination of both. It grants the marine increased strength speed and endurance akin to the death company. This condition can be suppressed and is temporary, though rumors of it causing vampirism exist, but it remains unconfirmed. The red thirst often arises in battle but eventually fades, causing a deep regret amongst the affected for their disregard for tactics and inhibitions. The blood angels experience another phenomenon known as the black rage, wherein they have visions of the Primarch Sanguinis fighting on Terra against Horus during the heresy. This leads to insanity, near invincibility and a relentless desire to kill, disregarding everything. Escaping this state is extremely difficult, achieved only by a few individuals like Lemaris or Mephiston, with survivors, with most of the survivors either executed or confined, in order to hide the flaw. Number 2. The Space Wolves The Curse of the Wolfen Also called the Wolves of Fenris, they were led by the renowned Primarch Lehman Russ. They are renowned for their Viking demeanor with a barbaric culture and a disdain for authority. They alongside with their Primarchs have been called the Empress Executioners and have on many instances been sent forth to deal with the renegade Primarchs or traitor marines. The reason why they are called the Wolves isn't just because of their attitude. It's also due to the fact that they have a Canis DNA helix in their genetic code which began with their Primarch. This genetic flaw often results in the development of canine features as they grow older like enlarged canine teeth, yellowish eyes, and unusual hair growth. Regrettably, in certain space wolves, this mutation can go too far, causing them to transform into more wolf-like humanoids during intense battles. Within the chapter, these marines are recognized as having the mark of the wolfen, evident through their elongated teeth and animalistic claws. The space marines who transform into the wolfen share a faint similarity with the werewolves of the legends. Just as the blood angels afflicted by the red thirst crave blood consumption akin to legendary vampires. Number 3. The White Scars The Kogorian Savagery Originally called the Star Hunters, they are known and feared throughout the Imperium of Man for their highly mobile warfare. They are considered the masters of the lightning strike, hit and run attacks as well, and are particularly adapted to use the Astartes assault bikes. The origins of their genetic flaw is uncertain. The uncontrolled ferocity within the White Scars chapter, whether from Jagathai Khan or from the fierce culture emanating from Chogoris, their planet, remains uncertain. As for the origins, this genetic flaw empowers them but also poses a risk of consuming their identity. It begins with a brief outburst of wild ferocity in battle, which is often unnoticed by the affected marine, but noticeable to his fellow battle brothers. If left unchecked, a deep unresolved rage surfaces out making the marine irrational and near to madness. Number 4. The Excoriators Dawn's Darkness The Excoriators are a loyalist space marine chapter following the Codex Astartes and descended from the Imperial Fist in the second founding. They are part of the Astartes Praesis, a vigilant force safeguarding the Imperium's regions near the Eye of Terror, as noted in the Mythos Angelica Mortis. But since the Great Rift, their role has expanded, so they suffer from a genetic curse called Dawn's Darkness. Afflicted members may appear weak or trembling, but survivors describe it as a nightmarish state. They relive Dawn's sorrow over the Emperor's loss during the Siege of Terror, experiencing the possibility of an Imperium without an Emperor. This blessing and curse grants insight into Dawn's profound misery and fear. Victims cannot communicate, cannot feed themselves, or respond to their surroundings. A Santiarch 
has to be brought in to offer a spiritual treatment to cure it or to end their lives. This condition is a psychic backlash and a reminder of the Emperor's sacrifice as well as Dawn's anguish. Number 5. The Howling Griffins Cursing the Word The Howling Griffins are a loyalist space marine chapter created from the Ultramarines gene seed in the 33rd millennium. The Howling Griffins hold oaths in high regard. Each oath signifies unwavering dedication until its completion or the Astartes death. As descendants of the Ultramarines Legion, their gene seed should have been stable, at least in theory. But unfortunately, they suffered from a gene curse called the Cursing of the Word. Following the death of Chapter Master Orlando Furioso, the Howling Griffins harbor a fierce vendetta against the word bearers and a demon prince, Periclitor, or Periclitoris, vowing revenge at any cause. The genetic curse unfolds in three stages. Firstly, an obsession with the word bearers' betrayal leading to the violent reactions to perceive treachery even against unrelated targets. Then, a hatred intensifies, pushing Battle Brothers to prioritize seeking traitors, altering missions or pursuing forbidden knowledge, and lastly, succumbing to the urge of annihilating word bearers, driving them to seek out all heretic Astartes, even forsaking any objectives or codes of ethics. Number 6. The Salamanders Unyielding An original first founding chapter and the 18th Legion, their homeworld is the death world called Nocturne. Unlike many space marines, the Salamanders prioritize safeguarding civilians due to a strong tie to Nocturne's inhabitants. Strange to all Astartes' customs, they still maintain connections with their families and their people post-transformation into space marines. So we all know about how different they look, their jet black skin, their red glowing eyes and the ability of seeing in the infrared spectrum with the fireside ability. But these are merely gifts so to say. Their genetic flaw is called unyielding. The salamanders shaped by a culture of endurance and sacrifice are known for their unwavering determination. Yet this nature can deter into stubbornness a trait that they must manage to avoid becoming inflexible. The genetic curse emerges in three stages. First, a resolute decision-making, then rigid inflexibility that hampers teamwork, and finally unyielding stubbornness even at the expense of personal or others' well-being. Number 7. The Thousand Sons Flesh Change Initially the 15th Legion, they then switched sides during the Horus Heresy to serve the Chaos God Zinj mainly due to the fault of the Emperor's heavy-handedness in sending the Space Wolves to bring Magnus in and also the mission being manipulated by Horus from detaining into an outright execution. Anyway, the past is the past. The Thousand Suns back then was always known for a genetic mutation that converted many of the Astartes in their ranks into Psychers. Regrettably, Magnus's influence carried a burden, a genetic defect called the Flesh Change among the Thousand Suns. This flaw led to abrupt, severe mutations sometimes transforming them into mindless monsters with a complete loss of sanity. Initially unseen, the flesh change emerged over a decade into the Great Crusade as latent psychic powers awaken, affecting most of the Legion. Number 8. The Black Dragons Draconic Mutation Officially a part of the enigmatic 21st founding in the 36th millennium, they remain shrouded in secrecy, but they actually emerge in the Age of Apostasy a period reminiscent of the Horus Heresy, and in this time they are mentioned in classified sources. The mutated DNA in the Black Dragon's osmodular gene implant causes abnormal growth, yielding bony crests on the head and blade-like protrusions on the forearms and elbows. Afflicted warriors form these into dragon claws by sharpening them for combat. Also unusual mandible bones and pronounced canines give them fanged appearances, kinda like serpents. The Inquisition's tolerance wavers due to extensive mutations thus causing conflict with other chapters like the Dark Angels, with many other chapters viewing the Black Dragons as deviations as heresy, eroding the Emperor's genetic design. Number 9. The Flame Falcons Immolation The Flame Falcons, a chapter born of the ill-fated Curse 21st founding, they displayed early promise but faced near annihilation by the Inquisition within a century of their initiation. This was due to their genetic flaw, as during battle some members spontaneously combusted but despite the fire, they remain unharmed. This is fueled by what they believe to be the Emperor's blessing, leading to ferocious battles and terror in the enemy's eyes. This fiery ability actually stemmed from unexpected psychic mutations linked to gene seed modifications by the Mechanicus during the 21st founding. But dismissing the chapter's belief and ignoring the facts about the Ad Mech tinkering, the Inquisition saw this as demonic possession and sent the Grey Knights to purge them nearly eliminating them all in their homeworld of Leith. 
Number 10, the Carcharodons, the chill of the void. Dubbed as the Space Sharks, they are a loyalist Space Marine chapter with uncertain origins, possibly dating back to the second at the very earliest or at the very latest the 23rd founding. Their ties to the Raven God are rumored and they are believed to be a successor chapter taken from the gene state of Korax. So they emerged from the outer void to punish what they deemed to be traitors against the Imperium during the Bad Up War. The Kerkaradons, known as aloof and ruthless warriors, exhibit intensified isolation and brutality when their genetic curse, the Chill of the Void, takes hold. In three stages, an affected battle brother becomes coldly formal, distancing themselves from comrades and speaking predominantly in High Gothic. So high and mighty. Then they progress into being merciless. Any adversary, whether Xenos, heretic or even misguided humans, face unrelenting execution. And in the final stage, silent as the depths, the battle brother largely secludes themselves avoiding leadership and preferring solo missions. Number 11, the Blood Ravens, the Deepening Mysteries. The enigmatic Blood Ravens of an uncertain origin and founding hold a mysterious connection to the Horus Heresy. They are obsessed with the knowledge and ancient lore and they produce many librarians due to a high occurrence of psychic abilities among the neophytes. This brings out theories that they might have been either created from the gene seed stock of Magnus and a thousand sons are from one of the lost Primarchs, the second or the eleventh. The Blood Ravens lacking knowledge of their Primarch define themselves through their chapter's doctrines due to their unending pursuit of their origins. This trait driven by an unsatiable thirst for truth evolves in three stages, starting with an unhealthy curiosity that spirals into a relentless quest for forbidden knowledge, followed by obsessions with specific aspects linked to their chapter's secrets, and culminating in a tainted enlightenment that grants profound understanding alongside a touch of madness as they grapple to contain and compre comprehend the overwhelming lore they gather. And number 12, the Iron Hands, Steel Over Flesh. These loyalist space marines stem from the gene seed of the fallen Primarch, Ferris Manners, firstly as the 10th Legion and later as an original first founding chapter. They are known for their hatred of the flesh and love for bionics and mechanical body parts just like the Adeptus Mechanicus. This is due to their Primarch genetic flaw called Steel Over Flesh. The Iron Hand's genetic curse progresses through three stages. First, a disdain for the flesh leads the Bell Brother to harm his own body. Then a cold fury intensifies aggression within them, demanding a strong willpower to control violent outbursts. And then finally, a zero tolerance for weakness, driving the Bell Brothers to eliminate perceived vulnerabilities, even clashing with allies like the Astra Militarum and also other chapters. Although detecting deviations from the Iron Hands, the Inquisition refrains from intervening, considering their presence, the presence of the curse, potentially advantages for exerting control over the chapter in the future if required. And also they are pretty close with the Adeptus Mechanicus, so anything they do to the Iron Hands, they do it to the Mechanicus as well. So an all-out war. So those are the 12 gene flaws and curses of the Space Marine chapters. Anyway, I see that many of you haven't subscribed yet. Yeah, it would do us a huge favor if you would only smash that red button and also like the video to push us through in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, bang on that bell icon as well for notifications on new videos like this. And yeah, tell us what you think in the comments section below. Till the next time, take very good care, boys.